Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. So it seems as if the panicking prophet Hubert Angel has reviewed contents of the Al Jazeera documentary that is about to come. And first lady Oxidium Gabi and her son Image Junior will feature in Al Jazeera's corruption investigation. It emerged on Saturday. Name dropping ambassador at large Hubert Angel made the revelation as he battled to clear his name after the Qatar News Network broadcast the first of a four-part investigative series showing him offering to launder 1.2 US billion dollars to undercover reporters while boasting that he had President Emerson Mnangagwa's full blessings. Through his office as presidential envoy and ambassador at lunch, the under fire United Kingdom-based preacher and businessman released a lengthy statement desperately trying to preempt future programs by claiming auxilia and junior featured were in fact decoys not them so he's claiming that he had to use a uh, separate people as decoys and that it is not auxilia Nangagwa and emerson Chania who were actually speaking during those calls but his own decoys in the first episode of the documentary an overly excited angel is seen ringing and putting on speaker in Rieta Rushwaya in the presence of the undercover reporters asking the controversial Zimbabwe Miners Federation boss to buttress his claims that smuggling volumes of gold was easy for them. Angel made the cause in a fervent attempt to convince the reporters he wielded influence in the wide network of key Zimbabwe persons able to help investors ship truckloads of dirty cash in and outside the country. But in an outstanding uh, rebuttal on Saturday, Angel claims the voices actually, the, the voices in the Al Jazeera clips belonged to decoys. He rang on the advice of state security who had raised questions over the genuineness of the reporters as bona fide investors. Angel says you also blocked a strange request by a misguided uh, investors to meet Munangagwa, saying it was not standard practice that every prospective investor should meet the president. By so doing, he inadvertently reviewed the president's wife and son who would feature in future episodes of the gripping documentary that has seized national attention. We saw we also the call he made to Renieta Squire and we saw the tone that it, it cannot be a decoy that one. That one was actually um, Renieta Squire. We even saw how excitable they both were during the call, and even including some vernacular language to just ascertain how close they are. So, with this knowledge and at the insistence of the investors, Ambassador Angel made several calls to Dick working at our office. He said in a statement released on his behalf by Chief Investment Officer Dr. Sobona Mutisi. In the, it is this decoys who posed as Senator Choir, the first lady, and the first son. This is according to the statement that was released by the OPU office. The calls to the decoys were made in light of the leading questions asked by the investors. They kept pushing to have the first family in the discussion, especially the first lady and the president. The best these people got are the audios from decoys. They never got the chance to film the president or the first lady because the ambassador was already informed by state agents prior to getting in the meeting that they didn't get the money they claimed to have. So just imagine guys, you all saw the documentary or most of you have seen the documentary. You, you, you saw how excitable Hubert Angel was and can we say that really he, was, he had been uh, informed that those people were we, 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 those people were, were actually bogus investors. He didn't know a thing. He didn't suspect a thing. The ambassador said that he has never made the first lead or even have uh, any direct d d dealings. But what's in the documentary, what is about to come according to him, he says that the Tico is posed as Auxilia Mnangagwa and Emerson Jr. Anukon Kainem Faru, Dinuenyu, Honorable Madiu.